health in a box. That's what it is. That's what it is. And now here we are coming in. <laughs> Okay, good news everybody. I found Snake. He will make an appearance between our next games. But in the meantime, hey! We're like 80 damage in, 30 seconds in. Doesn't hit the uh doesn't hit the F smash. Would have been something. Oh, what a trade. So, um... Gary recently said that Plop is a better Mega Man than Bug Doctor. I am sure that will be motivating Adam to, uh... Dominate Gary. In particular with better up air usage than he's used to. To prove that he is, in fact, better than Plop. Did he just jump out of up air? <laughs> and there's the better up air usage we were looking for, everybody. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. <sighs> Nothing fills me with joy like seeing people jump out of Mega Man up air and die. He waits on the down throw there. Probably going to use the uh, information he got from that one to his advantage. Ooh! Just sneaks around that flame sword. Gets the back air to take it. <laughs> yeah, this isn't too bad so far. Slow neutral, as always, but the advantage has been pretty, uh, pretty fast-paced, all things considered. At least until you get a snake ledge trap. <laughs> Another grab. Yeah. Correctly reads that he's going to roll the other way from last time. Hits him with that C4. Another up air. More up airs! Two up air kills so far. I can't tell if he jumped out of that one. He might have been close enough to the ceiling, but I don't know. I feel like up air should never kill. <laughs> In any case, Bug Doctor does seem to be proving that he's a uh, he's he's trying to be a better better Mega Man than Plop. Maybe this was actually just a genius bait, though. Maybe Gary knows that he's jumping out of these up airs and he's using it to condition Bug Doctor into just going for up airs. And then later on, he's gonna stop jumping, and Adam's not gonna know what to do. He's going to be like, but Plop was using up air. Plop wasn't using up air. This was a long-term conditioning from before the set even started. He knew he was in his pool. Gary's a genius. My goodness. Here we are on last stock. <laughs> Almost gets hit with the up smash. Yeah. Dodges the up air. Ooh. But the F smash. Bad DI. Actually, he tried to grenade out of that, it looked like. Or C4 or something. He just dies. Into the blast zone. So, game one to Bug Doctor. But now that we all know Gary's plan... For using these, uh, using these up airs against him. What's going to happen? This could be anyone's set, folks. I'm sure you all agree with me that that's clearly what's going through Gary's head. Yeah, galaxy brain plays. Like, the amount of forethought that went into this. He's like, what's, what's the best way that I can make Adam let up on me in disadvantage? Up air. How do I trick him into using up air? I've got it. I'm going to tell him that Plup was better at using up air than me. 
And as we all know, you know, Bug Doctor is so full of pride <laughs> that he won't settle for being worse than somebody else. He grinded that world record in Star Tropics for months. Might as well have been years. It'll be the same thing. But he's been fed faulty information. That snake Gary living up to his name. And he was doing quite well for the start of this game, too. Way ahead of you, BZ. I updated it before you even sent that message. Good grenade usage. Avoid the up tilt. Definitely would have killed. Yeah. There's that deactivation Gary knows how to do so well. Does manage to sneak through. I was hoping he would grab after the uh, crash bomber. <laughs> Spot dodges the up tilt. Reminds me of a poem. Ooh, and just catches him trying to go above the ledge with uh, an aerial. That hard knuckle taking him out. Hard knuckle is a really safe way to deal with that, actually. Um, works in just about any character that's trying to double jump aerial through the ledge before recovering. So, despite being at 170, 184, Bug Doctor has the stock lead. And, you know, I really thought that the lead was in Gary's favor. Even with the stock even up, if Bug Doctor lives that long, eesh, it's tough. Lots of back and forth. They're pretty up close. Shield pressure with Z-Drop Metal Blade is really interesting. It doesn't really do anything on its own, but... Lots of explosions with him up on that platform. Got him off stage. But avoids the Nikita once more. Ooh, that was clever! Bug Doctor knew it was happening, but I definitely got caught there. With him, uh... Dropping the Nikita onto, uh, like, on stage, where he was hoping Bug Doctor would go. No grabs from Snake. Nice. Love that F-Smash there. I think that covered most options. Roll behind, up tilt. Evens up the stocks. Here we are. Okay. Big damage coming from Gary here. Keeps it up. He might be able to pull off this game. Oh, no jump. But Metal Blade manages to get him through safely. Another F smash. Smashes are such big damage, and having a transcendent move like that against Snake is so nice. It's not surprising that Bug Doctor is using them to as great an effect as he has. I don't think he knew he caught the grenade there. That was nearly it. He's looking for Metal Blade combos, it seems. <laughs> Down throw. Ooh. Yeah, he was trying to read the roll in. I was kind of expecting the roll in, too. Runs up and F smashes. So scary. If 
Good pressure, though. Snake over in the corner. Oh my gosh. 163 to 121. Oh! Just catches him. God, he hit the lag of catching the grenade with the F smash. That's so, so cool. That was really well timed. Um, great comeback from Bug Doctor there. He had quite the deficit <laughs> for the end of that game, but manages to go up 2 0. Man, that's really big. Because a reverse 3 0 is tough in a matchup like this. Um, it's doable, but quite the hill to climb. I'm sure Bug Doctor's feeling good too. So much momentum when you make a comeback like that. And then to take that into going 2-0, you're going to be feeling yourself. Feeling really strong. You know, his F smashes were clean. His Metal Blade usage was clean. He really had everything going for him. So we'll see, see what it takes to slow him down in this game three. Lots of damage to start. Just big hits over and over. these trades. Whew. Up smash doesn't quite take him out, even with bad DI on the dash attack, but the Nikita finally manages to hit a Nikita. Adams have been making it very tough. Ooh, yeah. Nikita having a hurt box really, uh, really making a big difference there. Any other move, and uh, the F-Smash would have gone right through. The air dodges right into the F-Smash. So, 3-1 to one lead for Gary Too Scary. Does clean the stock up right away, but... This is the lead he needed to shift the momentum, that's for sure. Um, you know, you can definitely see him taking this game and putting the momentum of the set in his favor. But, we saw Bug Doctor make a comeback last game, and that was from much direr straights. Making a comeback against Snake when you're at 160 is much harder than when you're chilling at 5%, even if you're down a stock. Tries to leaf shield on his shield. Not safe. Slowly racking up the damage, but still a full stock behind. Ooh, doesn't quite catch the roll with his F smash like he wanted. Yeah. Just shields it, and he's dead. So, finally managing to get a game on the board. Gary too scary, but he's got two counter picks from Mega Man to go. We'll see what happens. You know, it could easily go reverse 3 0, but with how dominating. Uh, Bug Doctor was in those first two games. It's going to be tough. Whew. Excuse me.
Seems we're back at it pretty quick. Into our game four. Wow. He really took him to his own battlefield. That's bold. Bug Doctor saying, I'm going to beat your ass at home. Sneaks an F-Smash through. It's the back air, he's gonna go high. Oh, tricks us. Tricks us both. You have to tell, will he be able to get past Nikita? Not a chance if he goes like that. Well-timed forward air. Gonna go high, but, ah, doesn't quite get the landing. That could have been the stock. Ooh, downer into up tilt. That's cute. Catches him dropping shield. I like that. Lots of shield pressure. It's interesting, you know. Ooh! It's the combo into the up air from that grenade. And forgets about C4. That will always do it. <clears throat> Probably the biggest mistake you can make in the snake matchup. Incidentally, that's how I lost to Gary last time I played. <clears throat> He's not planning these things. <laughs> it's not why he put the grenade there. <clears throat> oh, the Cypher stops the downer, the hard knuckle getting through to him. Add DI on the back throw and it doesn't even matter. Yeah, back air will do it. So, last stock. Big deficit, but not one we didn't see him come back from before. <laughs> Leaf shield. It rolls behind to get the grab. Just clips him. Careful, careful. Gets back on. St oh, definitely didn't want to roll there. <laughs> That's too bad. And yeah, game five. Back and forth. Who knows who's going to win the next one? Hmm. It's been a set so far. I wonder if he's going to go back to Battlefield. If he has somewhere else in mind. Or this is the one where they both switch to each other's mains and play on Lilat. You know, whatever happens. 
I'd love to see that. Game 5. Swap to your opponent's main. They swap to yours. <laughs> Just what the world wants to see. But game 5. We're going to be on town. Okay. Yeah, you know, there, there has been a lot of adaptation. Um, honestly, though, I've just been seeing more mistakes from Bug Doctor in the previous two games than in the first two. We'll see if he cleans himself up. I do like the grabs. <laughs> Eats a cipher. There's also fewer mistakes from Gary. He's not jumping out of up airs, which cost him two out of the three stocks game one. <laughs> Big damage. This is a healthy lead. At least one of them, I'm sure he jumped. One of them was pretty close to the blast zone, so I'm not as sure. <laughs> Just avoids the down smash. Can't parry back air. So this game is handedly in Bug Doctor's favor. Pokes his shield with back air. Doesn't get much from it. No up tilt, even on the cross up. Lots of weak dash attack. Which is pretty fortunate for Mega Man over here. Ah, uh, but the up air does take or er, up tilt does take it. Good parry. Good parry. Nice. Excellent landing coverage. He's got a full stock here. And, you know, Gary hasn't been making these comebacks like Bug Doctor has. The games he's won have been from leads. Oh. The spike into something big. Wow! Back air off the town platform. Early, early kill. Still got a deficit, but suddenly much more believable. Loads of metal blades. The platform gets in the way. With the crash bomber. Tries to read a jump, doesn't get anything. And Gary's just fighting. Trying to put on the pressure. Does get a dash attack. But just goes for the ledge trap. No attempt at an edge guard. Down smash does hit him. Whiffs a grab. Oh, that parry's really good. <sighs> I feel like he's grabbing at the wrong times. He's grabbing at times that Bug Doctor's prepared for a grab. Gosh, that F Smash doesn't take it somehow. But that up air, there's no surviving that one. 69%. Bug Doctor 3 2 over Gary 2 Scary. Well done. Well done. That was a really clean ending to that set.